Hey everybody, it's Russ Rafino with Clients on Demand, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to sell in chaotic times. Stay tuned. Hey guys, it is Russ Rafino with Clients on Demand, and today I am joined by the brilliant, the incomparable Mr. Mark Von Muser, our Director of Sales here at Clients on Demand. And what we're going to be talking about today is how to sell in chaotic times. Mark, what's going on, man? Oh, I'm, I'm loving this topic, Russ. This is going to be a whole lot of fun because um, over the last, what, 30, 40 years I've been doing this, it's amazing. I've gone through many different challenging times and it was always interesting because most people buckle during challenging times. And I can honestly say, if you know what to do, the biggest opportunities you're ever going to have is during chaotic times. So we're going to blow the lid off it today and really kind of take you behind the curtain. Yeah, absolutely, guys. So look, you know, obviously for obvious reasons, things are absolutely nuts right now across so many different dimensions. You've got different laws going into place in different states, different restrictions, different things happening. There's just tremendous uncertainty right now. I was seeing in the news, you know, they're looking like at a supply chain shortage. So it's all, it's all just kinds of crazy, insane drama is happening. And we have an obligation as coaches, as business owners to go out there and succeed regardless of what's going on. But that doesn't mean that it's going to be business as usual. So that's what we want to talk about today, guys, is how can you succeed and thrive even when everything around you is in absolute and total chaos? And as usual, guys, most of what we're going to talk about today applies to people that are selling their, their knowledge or their wisdom or their expertise. So that's you, coaches, consultants, experts, authors, speakers, thought leaders. If you're creating information products, if you're writing books, if you're, if you're, if you're enrolling people into online programs, you're a therapist, you're a doctor, anybody who relies on your knowledge or your expertise to make a living, this is for you. It's really important that you understand this because there's certain things that you really need to double down on if you're going to succeed in this really turbulent time in which we find ourselves. Yeah, Russ, that's absolutely true. And I know you and I had talked about this a year ago where we're talking about, guys, one of the reasons that we wanted to do this conversation today is that right now that your clients out there, all these challenging times are going to magnify the problems that they have. So any glitch in their relationship right now, it's going to come to the forefront. Any glitch in their health right now is going to be magnified and it's coming to the forefront. Any glitch in their business is going to come to the forefront. So right now, those challenging times also mean there's a new opportunity for somebody to come help solve it. And a lot of these people would not even be on the phone with you right now if they didn't have that extra emphasis on that problem. So it's critical that you make a couple of shifts if you're going to thrive during these times. And we're not saying it to, to do this to try and take advantage of people. These problems that they have are that they exist. Your job, and again, what we believe is that your job is to help people solve those problems. So right now is a great opportunity to serve people at a level when they need you most. That's absolutely right, guys. So I want to start out by talking about what your intent should be in these times, right? And the language that you use around this is going to have a huge impact on where you end up. So you'll hear people saying things like, oh man, I just want to weather the storm or, oh man, I just want to get through this or, oh man, I hope I can keep my doors open during this time or, oh man, I hope my business can survive. If you're in sort of hunker down and survival mode, it's going to really have a negative effect on where you end up. And it's really important that you understand that. It's really important that you take control of the language patterns that you're using. So your intention through this time should not just be just to survive, it should be to thrive. So guys, listen, all this chaos kind of started probably around March of 2020 probably. And I want you guys to understand something. Many, many, many of our clients had the best year they have ever had in 2020, regardless of all the stuff that was going on. And a lot of those people are now doing even better in 2021. Why? Because they set the intention to thrive even while all of this stuff is going on. So set that intention. This is gonna be the best year my business has ever had. Or if you're just starting out, I'm gonna start my business off with a bang and I'm gonna start finding success right away regardless of what's going on around me. That's the kind of mindset that you need to have because Mark's right. There is a huge opportunity here, but if you're just focused on surviving, you're gonna miss it. And I don't want that to happen to you. I want this year to be the best year your business has ever had. And if you're just getting started, I want this final quarter that we're going into to be the best quarter your business has ever had. 
So wherever you're at, you need to set the intention to thrive in your business and not just to survive because there is a massive opportunity here. And the people that capture that opportunity are going to be better off than anyone else. The people that that are, are kind of in survival mode, they're not even going to be looking for the opportunities. They're just going to be trying to, to, to hang on as long as they can. And, and it's very important that you understand the difference between those two mindsets. One of those mindsets is going to produce massive success for you. And the other one is going to help you just sort of hang on. And that's not what we want for you. Make sense? That's such a great point, Russ, because when you're focusing on thriving, it's a completely different way that you look at the challenge. When you're just trying to survive, uh, you're in defense mode, remember? And it's like, you know, prevent defense in football. You know, Russ, I always love that. The team's up by three touchdowns with two minutes to go and they play prevent defense. And I've heard people say the only thing a prevent defense does is prevent you from winning. And the other team marches down the field and scores, gets a turnover and then marches down and scores again and then again and again. And they end up winning, you know, or, or grabbing defeat from the jaws of victory with that prevent defense. Something's different when you show up to thrive. When you show up to thrive, you're looking to innovate. You're looking to create. You're looking to solve new problems. And it's it's not a coincidence that something like 50% of the Fortune 500 companies started during the Depression or the Great Recession. Why is that? Because they were looking to solve problems. And right now, that's what's available. But if you're showing up just trying to hold on, you're already losing. You need to be proactive and start looking for a way to thrive. And that thriving usually means add more value to your client, serve them, get in front of more of them and be more available to serve. But it's it's a complete shift of mindset. But when you do it, you now have a really good shot to win. Yeah, guys, make sure you play to win. I don't want to see any of you kind of playing not to lose. Those are two very different things. And no matter what's going on around you, you must play to win. All right, so the first thing that you need to do to adjust your selling strategy in the midst of chaotic times is you have to understand something. You are selling certainty. You are selling certainty, but you can't sell what you don't have. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is that if you are a coach, if you are a consultant, if you are an expert, if you are a doctor, if you are any of those types of person, people fundamentally at the end of the day are coming to you with these massive problems that are ruining their lives. So maybe you're a nutritionist and people are coming to you because they need to lose 80 pounds and they've tried everything and no matter what they do, they can't make it work. Or you're a marriage and family therapist or relationship coach, people's relationships are falling apart. And no matter what they do, no matter what they try, they can't fix it. Those are the kinds of people that are coming to us. Those are the kinds of people that are depending on us. And the number one thing they want from us is certainty certainty that they actually can fix the problem. That's what they're looking for. They're not looking for doubt. They're not looking for someone to say, ah, you know, hey, maybe you'll be able to figure this out and maybe you won't. No, they want absolute certainty that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. They want certainty. And at the end of the day, the most important thing that you have that you can sell is that certainty. It's really important. Now, I want to be very careful here. I'm not saying that you should have this sort of artificial certainty where you believe that your program and your your offers are fantastic, but really they suck. (laughs) That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you have to have a great program and a great offer, but you also have to believe in that, believe in yourself, believe in your client, and believe in your solution. You've got to have that certainty. But here's the catch. You can't sell what you don't have. So if you don't have certainty, you don't have faith in yourself, you don't have faith in your program, then no one is going to work with you, no matter how good your marketing is. Does that make sense? You've got to cultivate that certainty. So how do you do that? Well, the, the most important thing that I think you need to do is you need to invest your time in the things that give you certainty and pull away from the things that take that certainty away. So one of the decisions that I made earlier this year was I was basically going to get off social media. Doesn't mean I was never going to post. It doesn't mean I was, you know, not going to continue to make money on social media because I made a lot of money from social media. But what it meant was that I wasn't going to be just constantly going on social media and like refreshing and and taking in all these other people's opinions and and you know, be on Twitter and look at all the latest Twitter fights and nonsense because at the end of the day, yeah, that's entertaining, sure, but it saps your certainty. It kills your certainty. Most of what you're going to read in the news or what you're going to watch in the news, and I don't care if you're watching Fox or CNN or MSNBC or whatever, you have to understand media companies make money by producing fear and anger, right? That old saying, if it bleeds, it leads. It's almost never that you see a news story that's just good news, right? Because nobody pays attention. As human beings, we are hardwired to react to threats in our environment. And we've been that way since caveman days. So 
news companies and media companies understand that and they understand their, their job is to make you scared and their job is to make you angry. So the more you are consuming that information, the more you are conditioning yourself to spend time either afraid or pissed off. And that's not going to give you any kind of certainty to do what you need to do in the world. In fact, it's going to paralyze you because fear is not a good state to work from and anger is not a good state to work from. So if you're spending way too much time on social media, way too much time watching the news, way too much time reading the news, I want to invite you to just unplug and focus on your stuff. Focus on yourself, focus on your business, focus on your clients, focus on your family. Don't allow this gloom and doom that's out there to rot your confidence and your certainty in yourself. And I know that's hard to do because it's everywhere. And unplugging from that is really tough, especially if it's just a habit for you. You know, you, 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 I don't know, you sit down, you got, you got a spare five minutes, you're, you're, you're in the car, you're on the bus, whatever, you know, and you, and you pull up like Twitter and you start scrolling and, and looking at the latest like Twitter outrage. You know, <laughs> I get it, but it's just gonna sap your confidence. It's gonna sap your certainty. And if you don't have certainty, you don't have anything in this business. And and it's such a shame, Russ, because, you know, we coach a, a lot of people and we can tell if they're obsessing on the news because their enrollments go down almost immediately. Mm -hmm. If they're watching a lot of the news and they're all riled up and no matter how much you scream at the sky, no matter how much you scream at the TV, it's not going to change anything, but it will destroy your enrollments and ability to influence people. And you said something else, which is really good, too, which was about the certainty. It's about certainty, knowing that the problem and knowing that you can solve it. And it's like, if you have clarity on that certain on the problem, and then it comes down to, can I solve it? And right now, those people that are focusing on the wrong things, like the news media and all the stuff they can't control. When you get on a phone call, if you're focusing on that, it's not as simple as, you know, flipping a switch and now you're present. You're still riled up about what you saw on the news. Now you're on the phone with somebody who's on the phone because they're freaking out. The pain of the chaos has been magnified. So they're ready to solve it. And it's like, all of a sudden you're in the wrong state. And you're in an anger state and that is not the same or a scarcity state or a fear state. Those are not great states to be enrolling from. And when you're when you're connected on your goal and you're connected on purpose, that same phone call would go completely different. So you got to make sure you're paying attention to that because people are they need certainty that you can solve the problem. That's just really what it comes down to. And if you're all mentally on the news and focusing on stuff, you can't you're not present for that client. There's a really great classic book that came out in the 90s, guys, called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And in that book, he talks about two circles. So there's the circle of concern, which is everything that you're concerned about, everything that you're worried about, everything that's kind of rattling around in your head and, and, and making you uncomfortable, right? That's your circle of concern. But then there's also a smaller circle, which is your circle of influence. And that's the stuff that you can directly impact. So you might be worried about this or that or this election or that election or this politician or this issue or whatever. But the thing is, most of the time, there's nothing you can do about those things. You can do something about them in, you know, every four years or whatever, when you vote, every two years when you vote. But, but for the most part in your day-to-day -day existence, there really isn't that much you can do. And so those things are in your circle of concern, but they're not in your circle of influence. So what he suggests that you do in the book is to focus like a laser on your circle of influence. What are the things that you can change? What are the things that you can impact? Things like, is your business growing or is it stuck? Are you getting the clients that you want or are you not? Are you making a real impact in the lives of those people or are you not? Are you hitting your income goals or are you not? Those are all things that are inside your circle of influence. And when you focus more on your circle of influence, you know what happens? It gets bigger. So that circle of influence begins to expand as you become a more successful, more influential person. Now you can begin to impact some of those things that maybe you couldn't impact before. So I want to invite you guys to disconnect from all of these disempowering, dark stories that are, again, designed to make you afraid and make you angry. And instead, just unplug from all that nonsense and just focus on, hey, man, what can I do right now? What can I control? What can I put together? What can I, what can I create? How can I take my business to the next level? How can I get better results for my clients? How can I begin to, you know, work with the people that I've always dreamed of working with? That should be what you're focused on right now, because that's going to give you certainty. The more you operate there and the more you begin to find success there, the more certainty you're going to have. And the more certainty you have, the better and easier it is going to be for you to sell and for you to do everything in your business. 
Make sense, guys? It's really important that you understand this. When I unplugged from social media earlier this year, all of a sudden, like my wife was like, Russ, you're so much more present with me. You're so much more present with the kids. You're so much more aware of what's going on. And it's like, it was amazing, guys, because this is real life. You know, um, someone, <laughs> I was watching that new comedy special with Dave Chappelle, Mark. And uh, he was talking about, you know, he makes obviously jokes that like, you know, make a lot of people angry. And he was like, yeah, you know, uh, people were raking me on Twitter, but I don't give an F because Twitter's not a real place. <laughs> and I was like, that's amazing. This is your life with the people that are around you, the people that you work with every day, the people that you see every day, that is real life. The latest argument that's happening on Facebook or Twitter, that is not real life. It's just not. And you can try to invest those things with all this emotional energy and intensity, but at the end of the day, it's not real. What counts in this life is the love that you show to the people that you're with every day. That's what matters, guys. So anytime you invest in anything else is really just wasted time. You're missing out on your life. Put your phone down, connect with the people that you care about, and you will be shocked and how much happier you get almost automatically. It is literally like the best advice I can give you. Yeah, that's solid, Russ. Yeah, all right, so the next thing I want you guys to be aware of, right, is that the more chaotic things are, the more people need your help. So it's really important that you guys understand this as well. The more pressure people are under, the more the cracks begin to show. So let's say, for example, that you, I like using the marriage example because it's so cut and dry. So let's say that you're a marriage coach or a marriage and family therapist, right? And there's people that are sort of kind of unhappy in their marriage, but basically they're sort of just sort of muddling through. It's really not that bad. And they can kind of just maintain. Well, then something happens. There's some big crisis. There's something everyone's stressed about, kind of like now. What that does is it puts pressure on people and, and maybe when if everything was smooth sailing, that couple could kind of just muddle through their relationship and be fine. But now where there's this pressure, now the cracks are starting to show. They're under more stress and all of a sudden they're fighting more. They're, they're not getting along the way that they were because the pressures are more intense. And this is true with everything. You know, it's, e you know, it's I'm not going to say it's easy to get in great shape when everything is fine, but it's certainly easier. But now all of a sudden you got to deal with the fact that like your gym is closed or you can't work out here, you can't work out there. You know, these new challenges come to light. Now it's harder for people to get in shape. So whatever it is that people are trying to do, that pressure makes them come face to face with reality. And it's going to make them put their hands up and say, hey, I need help here. So the more pressure people are under, the more chaotic things get, the more they need your help. So don't buy into this idea that, oh man, you know, there's so much going on right now. I can't sell anything. That's crazy. That's crazy. Because the more chaos there is, the more people need you. And it's really important that you have that mindset, guys. Yeah, that it's so true um, that our, our clients are proving this. That's why so many people, every person in our masterminds had their best year ever. And so many of our clients are, are absolutely booming right now because normally, like you said, people will normalize the pain. You know, they, they do it. But right now, as that pain gets amplified and as the problem gets more amplified, all of a sudden, now they're in a position where they need to fix it. They have more time to focus on it, too, because they're not sticking their head in the sand and now they have to address it and fix it. So we've seen that to be true where our clients are like, oh, my God, the business is there and people will solve this problem now. Um, th they've been kind of softening it and normalizing it for the last few years. And all of a sudden, boom, now it's at a point where they can no longer normalize it. So it right now, guys, if you are not in the game, you're missing out on arguably the best time to start a business or take your business to the next level. And the people that truly want to serve their clients and be able to help them solve those problems can do very, very well right now to people that are still stuck in the old way of doing it. They're going to find themselves literally wondering where all the clients went. And just so you know, they went to clients that are businesses that were out front and center serving them. At the end of the day, what we're offering people is transformation. And if you're not offering that, you need to start. So if you're selling information or you're just saying, hey, you know, I'm going to show you how to do something. You can take my video course, you watch the videos and then just kind of figure it out on your own. No, no, no. People need real transformation. So that's where the opportunity is, guys, because most people are not selling that. 
I don't care what space you're in or what market you're in. Most people are selling, hey, hire me because I'm an expert or hire me because I have a bunch of letters after my name. Hire me because I'm certified. You know, buy my video course, buy my ebook, buy whatever. But they're not selling real transformation. If you're willing to make the investment in your clients to actually get them a result, then what you're going to find is you don't really have much competition at all. Even all in all these niches and all these markets that are quote unquote competitive, they're not really competitive because they're not selling what you're selling. If you've if you got this niche that seems competitive where everyone else is selling information and you're the one person out there that's actually selling a transformational program that really gets results, you don't have any competition. So understand that, guys. The more chaotic things are, the more people need real transformation. And so you can go into any market, no matter how crowded it is, and if you're offering real transformation, people are going to be tripping over themselves to work with you. That's a big secret to the results that we get. You know, our clients, they're, they're not going into these niches no one's ever heard of. They're not going into these markets no one has ever heard of. They're going into fitness. They're going into weight loss. They're going into relationship coaching. They're going into dating coaching. They're going into business coaching. What do these have in common? They are crowded as hell. But nevertheless, our clients are able to go in there and set up multi-million dollar businesses in record time. Why? Because everyone else is selling information and they're selling transformation. So understand that. The, the, the more pressure people are under, the more hungry they get for real transformation. So that's where the opportunity is. Now, what I mean by transformation, because you might be wondering, well, Russell, okay, great. That sounds great. What does that mean? What I mean is that you're not just going to hand them a bunch of information. What you're going to do is actually coach people through the process of getting the result. So instead of just saying, hey, here's a bunch of information. Now go figure this out on your own. You're going to actually hold their hand and guide them and coach them. And, and, and walk them all the way to getting that outcome. And, and that doesn't have to take a lot of time. We teach structures in our program for how you can do that within just a few hours a week. And you can do it more efficiently than working with people one-on-one -on -one if you know what you're doing. So it doesn't have to take a lot of time. It's more about your intention. It's more about your intention. Are you really willing to make the effort? Are you really willing to, to show up for your clients at a, at a higher level than other people are? It doesn't have to take more time, but you do have to really care. You know, it's so funny because you can, you can tell the difference between business owners that are, are focused on, on being a big shot, right? Where the, the primary purpose of their business is to feed their ego. And you can see business owners where maybe they don't really care about their ego, but they're, they're mostly focused on money, 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 money. It's all about the bottom line. And then there's the third kind of business owners where they really care about the impact that they're making. They care about changing the world one client at a time, and that's their number one priority. And what's funny, guys, is that those people end up being more significant and usually more wealthy than the people that are chasing significance or the people that are chasing wealth, because it's all about making that impact. It's all about that transformation. And the more you focus on that, the more successful you're going to be. And, and the fact that we're in a chaotic time right now, it just makes it even easier for you. Yeah, I love that, Russ. And it's, I remember a while back, you know, I remember hearing, I don't remember where I heard it, but it was basically the minute you stop chasing money and start chasing serving clients, money will chase you. And that's definitely been the case. And right now, no one wants to be sold anymore. You know what I mean? I, I'm even curious whether or not those, the people that are just obsessing about money, making money, you know, the businesses, I have a hunch that they're, they're not going to be able to thrive. Because the buyer today has evolved. The buyer today wants to be served. The buyer needs an advocate. They want somebody there to help them with the transformation. You know, an information course just isn't cutting it anymore. And, and buyers know that. Buyers are getting smarter. They're more educated on what it's going to take. And most buyers know that, you know, that they're human and that they'll procrastinate when they get outside of their comfort zone and they're scared. That's where the human element in that expert coaching really comes into play. But it's a great, like we've said, we've been talking about opportunity. It's a great opportunity for people that really care. I believe that the future of tomorrow, the leaders will be the most aligned, congruent, and willing to serve their fellow man. And so what's going to happen is we're doing that. All these businesses, which are, you know, working on selling widgets and don't care about the client, they will be replaced by, by people selling widgets that do care. So, and when you're in the transformation space, um, right now, if you, a big warning shot across the bow is that if you don't get in the game soon, you might be, be priced out because right now, you know, it's kind of like when opportunity happens, the universe and people show up and solve the problem, meaning, you know, the light bulb 
there were Thomas Edison and a guy in Italy were working on the light bulb at the exact same time because the universe, um, you know, it's time for man to have the light bulb. And after it's done, you don't see a 10,000 people now trying to do it. Well, the same is true for certain coaching things that if you keep sitting on the sideline and you don't get in the game, somebody will and somebody is going to solve that problem. And the minute they do, boom, you're that the first ones that are there are going to be the leaders of tomorrow and jump in. Because, again, all of this whole conversation is getting to people need you now more than ever. But if you're on the sideline, you're not in the game, you're not helping anybody. Yeah, that's absolutely true. And by the way, you know, Italians may not have invented the light bulb, but we did invent pizza. So you decide <laughs> which is more pizza. important to you. I know which one is more important to me, but that's a decision you guys have to figure out for yourselves. Okay. <laughs> uh, the third thing I want you guys to understand is that you want to empathize with their story without buying into their story. And this is really, this is just crucial. This, and this is one of those soft skills that really make the difference between someone who's amazing at selling and someone who just is kind of like parroting a script or something like that, right? So every time you talk to a potential client, they're gonna to come to you with a story. And that story is all of these reasons for why they cannot have what they want. So maybe they wanna lose weight, or they wanna get in shape. And it's like, oh, well, you know, my, my metabolism this, my hormones this, um, my gym is too far away. You know, th like there's gonna be a million reasons and justifications for why they can't have what they want. And guys, human beings love to do this. It is a very rare human being that can look you in the eye and say, hey, I have problems and I'm the cause. <laughs> Almost no people can say that. To really take responsibility for what's going on in your life is very, very difficult. We always want to hide behind excuses and we always want to hide behind justifications. And when there's chaos in the world, what does that give us? It gives us a ready-made, fresh out of the oven excuse for why we can't have what we want. So I can't achieve this outcome. I can't achieve this goal because, well, look at all the chaos going on. Look at all this stuff that's happening. Of course I can't achieve my goal. And it, and, and, and the, you know, all the news stories that you read and all the, all the, all the things that you, you see on TV, it all just reinforces that story. It reinforces that excuse. So as coaches, we got to go in there understanding that every single person is going to come to us with some kind of story or excuse about why they can't do it. And as coaches, it's our job never, never to judge those people. What we want to do is we want to empathize with those people, right? So we understand, we understand where they're coming from and we understand what they're going through and we absolutely and totally understand that story and we understand that that story is totally real to them. But what we cannot do is buy into that story. We cannot accept that excuse that the reason they can't, that they can't get in shape is because of all this crazy stuff going on. Or the reason they can't fix their marriage is because of all this crazy stuff going on. We have to do something that almost no one in their life is going to do. And that's hold their feet to the fire to say, yes, I feel you. Yes, I understand where you're coming from. But you know what? At the end of the day, do you want to fix this problem or do you want to not fix this problem? And, and if you don't fix this problem, where are you going to be a year from now? Where are you going to be five years from now? Where are you going to be 10 years from now? We have to hold their feet to the fire and open the door for them to make a real change. And that's tough. And that goes back to what we were talking about before, where you got to have total certainty or you really can't do this. Because if you don't, if you, if you don't have total certainty, then here's what's going to happen. You're going to get sucked right into that story, aren't you? They're going to come to you with all these excuses and you're going to go, oh man, yeah, I was reading about that in the news too. Oh man. Yeah, no, no, they can't. They can't make it. They can't succeed. They can't fix this problem. And, and then you can't lead anybody. You know, a leader sees the potential in people before they see it themselves. That's what leadership is. It's saying, hey, man, I see where this guy is today, but I see where they could be. And I'm going to guide them through the process of becoming that person that they want to be, even if they don't really quite believe it yet. I know they can get there and I'm going to help them get there. That's what you need if you want to be an, an effective salesperson, an effective coach, an effective leader. But in order to do that, you cannot buy into the BS. So there's two mistakes you can make, right? Number one is to, is to just throw their story out and not empathize with it at all and judge the hell out of them and say, hey, you're wrong for thinking that, right? All that does is alienates people, okay? And the other mistake you can make is to buy into that story so much that, that you completely lose your ability to lead that person out of it. So in, what you want to do instead is empathize with what they're telling you, listen to what they're telling you, really understand what they're telling you, but never buy into it and begin very gently to introduce them to a better alternative, a better story, 
a story of empowerment, a story of success, a story that, yes, of course, all this stuff is, is going on. You're right about that. But at the end of the day, we have to fix this problem. Do you want to fix it or not? That's what I'm talking about. A, a big part of what we teach Russ, which has made a huge difference, is to coach on the outcome, not the story. Now, granted, on the enrollment call, it's not really a coaching call, but the premise is still the same. Most people get caught up in the story like you're talking about, and then they're arguing, they're talking about trying to work on the story. And that story is really a coping mechanism. It's a coping story to get through the day. But what the client really wants, and that you have to resist the temptation to buy the story, you want to coach them on the outcome. So if that's weight loss, the consequences of not losing the weight, what their goal is, who they'll be when they have that weight off. And as long as you can hold them on that, then you can be effective on the phone and have influence. Second thing you said, which was spot on, was there is no influence when judgment is present. So you really want to make sure that comes on the back heels of empathy and compassion. So when you're showing up on those calls, don't sit in judgment like, oh, this guy's so stupid. He just said he needs this and oh my God, and he wants to buy and he won't pay. And if you're in judgment about them, then you're not really influencing them. So if you want to be successful during chaotic times, you need to resist that temptation to judge, move through compassion and empathy. Really kind of realize that this is a fellow human being that you should be honoring out of the entire world. This person is on the phone with you wanting it, wanting solution and help, and they happen to trust you enough to be on the phone. Now, if you can influence them, Russ said you can help them create a new story about actually stepping into the solution actually stepping forward and taking your hand and helping you to fix it. That will only happen when you're moving through compassion and empathy. And so when you're doing that too, always remember to stay, stay connected to the outcome, not the story, their, their coping mechanism, that story, they tell you it's refined. It's good. They've told it a thousand times and you know, shame on you. If you're allowing that to do it, because at the, if you allow and try and work on that story, they will not enroll. They will not solve the problem. And there's just going to be one more person that bought their story. Yeah. And if you're paying attention, guys, you might start to think to yourself that you have your own stories, don't you? We all do. And if you want to be successful, what you have to do is begin to let those things go. It's almost like your stories are like this little cocoon of BS and it's warm and, and it's, it's cozy, but at the end of the day, you're, you're literally just covering yourself in poop so that you don't have to take responsibility for your own life. Until mm -hmm. you are willing to do that, you are basically useless. You know, if my company is failing or if we have a problem, I can find a billion excuses for why that's happening. But at the end of the day, I have to take ownership of it. I have to take responsibility because it is my company and the buck stops here. So if something isn't working, I have to take responsibility. Now that's a painful thing to do. It really is. It can hurt your ego, but you must do it because if it's, if, 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 if you don't have ownership of it, you can't fix it. Does that make sense? If you don't have ownership of it, you can't fix it. So you've got to divest yourself. You got to let go of your own stories. Hey, I can't make it because my parents, this, I can't make it because society that I can't make it because the deck is stacked against me. None of those things matter. They just don't. And if you look at our client base, You'll see that we have clients that are millionaires and they literally come from every walk of life. We've got clients from, I think, every continent except Antarctica, right? Because no one lives there. Um, but we've got black clients, white clients, straight clients, gay clients. I mean, literally, you know, Jewish clients, Christian clients, atheist clients, Hindu clients, but clients from literally all walks of life. And by applying these principles, they've been able to succeed. So any stories they might have had about why they can't make it, they just get thrown right out the window. If you are smart, and you're willing to work and you're willing to follow a system that works, then there's no reason you can't have exactly the business that you want and exactly the life you want. And any story that says that you can't is something that you should just throw away. You just throw it away because it's not the truth. The truth is you have the power to create the life that you want. And if you've got that, that belief in yourself and that, that desire to serve the world in a bigger way, then, then, then really there's nothing stopping you. There's nothing standing in your way. In fact, the only thing that's stopping you is that you may not have the strategy. And that's where we come in. That's what we want to give you. So part of what we do at Clients on Demand is we will hand you a step-by-step -step strategy for bringing in all the clients that you want at the price that you want, anytime you want. And we'll show you how to serve those clients in a way that gives you freedom and gives them incredible results. And if you want to learn how to do that, then I want to invite you to go to clientsondemand.com forward slash talk and book an appointment to speak to us. 
Here's how that works. We'll get on the phone for about 45 minutes and we'll talk about everything that's going on in your business. You can tell us, hey, here's what's working. Here's what's not working. Here's my dream. Here's my dream clients. And what we'll do is put our heads together and help you get clear on the price you should be charging, who you should be working with, what is the problem that you solve, and how can you begin to reach those dream clients and enroll them consistently. There's no charge for that call. It is absolutely free. And if you want our help to implement the game plan that we come up with together, then of course we can talk about that. But if not, that's cool too. Either way, our goal on that call is just to get you crystal clear on exactly what you should be doing in your business and what you can let go of. So go to clientsondemand.com forward slash talk and let us show you how to do this at the highest level. Because the truth is, the more chaotic things are, the more people need your help. And there is a massive opportunity right now for people who have the certainty and the strategy. If you have both of those things, it's like, man, you're really cooking and you can you can create whatever you want in your business, but you've got to step up. So go to clientsondemand.com forward slash talk and book that appointment to speak to us. Yeah. I'm, one of my favorite quotes growing up was opportunities don't go away. They go to people who can take action and decide. And right now that, that window of opportunity right now is so great that for people that are willing to serve people and get out of their own comfort zone to help others, it, you can make as much money as you want. And don't buy the story that everyone else is saying that, oh, you know, it's not a good time. It's a great time for people with the right intention, people with the right strategy and the right support. Uh, we're having people do gangbusters, just absolutely just crushing, crushing business right now. So make sure that when you show up though, that you're ready to let go of your story about why you can't and start fight for white, what you want, because right now you have to make that decision. You can't fight for both. You're either going to fight for your dream or you're going to fight for your excuses and your story. And that call is going to give you massive clarity about whether it'll work for you, massive certainty, whether or not it's the time. And then lastly, you know, again, we know where your clients are on Facebook or social media. We know how to get in front of them. And, and it always cracks me up for us. We had somebody, for example, in the debt space, debt space, helping people get out of debt. And they were on the phone with one of our team going, oh, well, I don't think this is going to work for me. And it's like, no offense, you're not the expert. He goes, yeah, but I'm in the debt space. Everybody's broke. And he goes, well, we have two people right now that we can think of that are multimillionaires that have become multimillionaires who have helped it. Yeah, but but there and they go, well, one of them's from Africa. She moved from Africa and lives in Canada. You know what I mean? And it's like every excuse he had was just not accurate. And it's like, those are the stories he had to let go in order for him to start moving towards serving other people. And the market's big enough for everybody that wants to jump in and serve. But again, whoever grabs market shares is, is again, the people, there's a transition period right now. Make sure you add your name to it and get in the game. A thousand percent, guys. So go to clientsondemand.com forward slash talk and let us help you take your business to the next level. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us today. And we will catch you on the next show. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for tuning in to today's show. If you guys want to subscribe, there's a little picture of me. You can click that button right over there. If you want to book a breakthrough session with our team, which you absolutely should do, then you can click that button there or go to clientsondemand.com forward slash talk to book an appointment to speak to us. We'll go ahead and catch you on the next show. Bye-bye.